Yankees fans, let's talk about the hardcore reality of Giancarlo Stanton. Many of you guys know I defended Stanton numerous times. Numerous. But as the season progressed, I started to notice that Stanton's RBIs, his home runs, really came in, let's say, insignificant situations. And it's not to say that John Carlo Stanton did not help the New York Yankees, which he obviously did, okay? But when you sign that contract and you're making all that money, people expect you to be more clutch. People expect you to perform when the Yankees need you the most or when your team needs you the most. John Carlos Stanton had many opportunities to prove this way before the playoffs. This is why I am being critical of Stanton. It's nothing that came out of the blue. He was tested before the playoffs when Aaron Judge went down. Stanton, people could argue he carried the team for, let's say, about not a week, maybe more than that, maybe for like 10 days, okay? And it's that inconsistency which makes absolutely zero sense if you are going to pay a player making that much money just to DH for you. When you saw Cashman making trades for, let's say, a Luke Boyd who's making about 500 k And let's say, I know it's too soon, but he was producing for the Yankees. But I will say this. If Gary Sanchez was given the opportunity to be your full-time DH, he'll put up monster numbers. Because it's obvious to me, catching a full season for Gary takes a toll on his body. I got comments saying, oh, you want to trade Stanton? He hit close to 40 home runs and drove in 100 RBIs. And you know what my response was? I said, name the top three times that you could remember from this season where John Carlos Stanton, let's say, came in clutch. Sure, it's sprinkled around here and there, but people can't recall what situations Stanton came in clutch because really his numbers came from, let's say, padding his numbers, Yankees being up. That's the hardcore reality. So I am not calling for Stanton to be traded. I am stating that it makes absolutely zero sense to keep that large contract when you could go out and plug somebody at DH who could maybe be more clutch, who could produce the same numbers. And in my opinion, the Yankees already have that. So I'm not stating to trade Stanton. I'm just saying that there's a rumor out. It's been out since last year. The Dodgers couldn't obtain or trade Stanton because they were over the luxury tax. And the rumor went like this. It was really put out by the Boston Red Sox. It stated that since the Dodgers were over the luxury tax, the Yankees would get Stanton and then trade Stanton to the Dodgers when that luxury tax reset it for the Dodgers this offseason. That's the rumor, folks. The Marlins needed to get rid of Stanton. Stanton rejected going to the Giants. You know why? Out of his own mouth. Because Stanton, growing up, was a Dodgers fan, and he couldn't do that to the Dodgers organization. He didn't want to go to the St. Louis Cardinals either. He wants to go to the Dodgers. Maybe Stanton is in on it as well. Who knows? We don't know, folks. We got to wait for the offseason to come. So people that are whining and complaining, saying, oh, Yankees fans want to uh, trade Stanton already. No, that was out for close to a year now. So if this rumor has any truth to it, it goes like this. The Marlins couldn't trade Stanton to the Dodgers where Stanton really wanted to go. They told the Marlins and the Yankees to wait a year. Obviously, the Marlins wanted to get rid of Stanton due to financial difficulties, obviously. They're waiting for the Dodgers to reset in 2018. 
And that's where the Dodgers and the Yankees are going to make that trade for Stanton. That's what the rumor states. I'm not saying it's true, but if it's put out by an organization like the Red Sox, I mean, hmm, I don't know. Why would they do that? So we just got to wait and see, folks. Like I said, I am not a Stanton hater. I just don't like his contract being that large and making so much money to primarily be a DH. Let a NL team handle him. Let a NL team take that contract. Let him play the outfield in the NL. It makes absolutely zero sense to keep him for that many years to clog up DH and have him DH for you. And when it comes playoff time, he can't even show up. And a player like that gives me absolutely zero patience to wait for him to see if he finally shows up in October because he strikes out way too much. Way too much, folks. It's quite laughable that people keep comparing Stanton to A-Rod. Do not compare A-Rod's tenure to Stanton on the New York Yankees. A-Rod was a different beast. A-Rod was a completely different player than Stanton. Completely different. And even when A-Rod DH, remember 2015? The man absolutely carried the Yankees that full season. That's why I'm still kind of ticked off the way he was sent off when the Yankees made him retire because that last season, he carried the Yankees. But I do know in 2016, he was trash. But the way he was let go, they didn't even allow him to finish the full season. So A-Rod, at the age of, how old was he at the time in 2015? I'm pretty sure he was like 39. He performed better than a 28, 29 year old at DH who was making 25 million going to raise to 32 million, then going down back to 28 million. He performed better than that player or close to it. He was going to be an all star that season. What I'm trying to say here, folks, I don't want to spend the next nine years looking at a DH that strikes out over 200 times per season. I just don't have the patience for that. If you're going to strike out that many times, strike out four times in a game, sometimes five, then I'm going to get bald. I'm going to get gray at a young age before I know it. Because simply, in my honest opinion, it's coming from me, okay? I just don't want to have the patience for that. I don't know about you guys, but me, I don't want to wait to see if this guy could perform come playoff time. I don't, I don't have the patience. You want to know why? Because we already went through that with a better player, a better player than he was. And as of now, I feel like it's a loop, a broken record. That's just my opinion, folks. If you're Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think? And like always, yet again, it has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.